hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how i make browning or burnt sugar you do not need a lot of ingredients to make this you only need sugar and water i'll be using a cup of packed dark brown sugar and have a cup of hot water okay, i'm just gonna dump the sugar into the pot and turn on the heat to medium low and I'll let it sit till it starts bubbling up like this. If I was using a wider pot or something that has a wider surface, I would have left it to melt all the way. But because this pot is smaller and they are packed on top of each other, I'm going to help it to dissolve. I'm going to stir it when it gets to a certain stage. If I leave this, it's going to burn, so I'm going to help it by stirring it. Like I said earlier, when it gets to this stage, I'm going to start stirring it because it's burning at the bottom. So I have to stir it so that it will help it dissolve properly. So when, I, when you start mixing like this, it's a continuous process. You really do not stop. You have to continuously mix it. So while I'm staring, I want to send a shout out to all those that have subscribed. Thank you so much. I'm so appreciative. God bless you. As you can see, the bottom of the pot, you, you can see some part is already charred. So, see? So I just mix it continuously. That's what you really do. Making burnt sugar is not really hard if you know what to do. It's really very easy. Brown in all burnt sugar is a Caribbean flavor. They add it to food. They use it to make uh, a black cake, fruit cake. So when they couldn't afford molasses and browning, a lot of them resorted to making it themselves at home. And I think when you make your your spices or anything by yourself, you know what is in it. And I think it is better. As you can see it is changing it has melted i'm gonna continuously stir it till it turns to a darker color before i add the water so it's still fairly light if you are, you can use a uh, white sugar but it takes a longer time to get it to a very dark brown color but if you are using a, br a brown sugar it gets to a darker color quicker you can see it's changing while I'm stirring it, it's changing. I will continue to stir till I get to a, the color that I want. So while I'm doing that, if you are new to my channel or you have been watching my videos and you are yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get an alert whenever I upload any video. And if you are enjoying what you are watching, give it a thumbs up and share it invite your friends you can see the color has changed significantly it is really dark brown so when it gets to this extent like it's dark like this it's like almost black see very very dark i'm gonna gradually add water please make sure no one is around you when you add in water because it bubbles up it could splash or splatter I just added a little bit of water. Oh, before then, I turned off the stove. You can take it off the stove. I turned it off and I added water gradually because it bubbles up. You have to be careful. You can wear a meeting. So I just added the last batch of water. See? You can see it's not boiling because I turned off the stove. So it is done. But if you want to thicken it, you can still turn on the heat and continue to cook it till it, uh, till it gets to the consistency you want. I'm just going to cook it a little bit because I like it thicker. And even if it is running now, when it cools down, it's going to thicken up. So don't wait till it thickens on the stove before you turn it off. So I like the consistency I'm seeing. I'm just going to turn off the stove and let it cool. 
while it is cooling be very careful this liquid burns so it has cooled down i want to filter it because sometimes the charred part on the bottom of the pot sometimes breaks off and gets into the mixture so i try to filter it to remove any particle to make sure there is nothing see how thick it is yeah this is what i want i like this consistency if you want it light just add hot water and you're good to go so for the pot a lot of people find they don't want to do it because they think it's going to destroy their pot like you see that stain at the bottom of the pot some people don't like it so that's why they don't want to do it but let me show you how to clean your pot just use hot as long as you use hot water i fill the pot with hot water and i put it back on the stove while it is cooking i'm gonna use this wooden spatula to scrape the bottom while it's still cooking you can let it sit on the stove top till it starts boiling after cooking and scraping it on the stove top i'll bring it to the sink to wash see it's almost clean so i'm just gonna go in with a sponge and start washing so don't be afraid to use your pots you can get off that burnt stain it's gonna come off very easy see there's a little spot there that is difficult so i'm gonna get this iron sponge and scrape it off if not generally the pot is clean so don't be afraid to use your pot you can get off the stain it is not permanent see all clean so back to my burnt sugar it has been cooling for a while so i'm transferring it into the container that i'm gonna store it in store it in an airtight container and use it whenever you need it you are good to go see how easy it is to make burnt sugar though bitter it has a deep rich intense taste that you will love so give this a try thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell like the video god bless you i love you till i see you next time bye